Sakana. Hey guys, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite animes. And today I'm going to be doing a quick second review of the day, and that would be the new um, anime, Ya Boy Kung Ming, or uh, Bari Piko Mei. So Ya Boy Kung Ming is an anime based off of a manga written by Yotsuba Yuto and illustrated by Ogawa Ryo. It is adapted into an anime by PA Works. So uh, yeah, uh, I finished watching uh, Bari Piko Mei a couple days ago and uh yeah needless to say this is one of the stupidest animes i've ever watched but also one of the most fun animes i've ever watched essentially uh jugokle or uh, if you speak mandarin juga liang or hong Ming, or uh kong Ming, or in japanese kome uh died uh which actually happened he is a historical character uh, he's a historical figure turned into a novel character in the romance of the Three Kingdoms, one of the four biggest novels in Chinese history and Chinese culture. Um, he died, and he was reborn in modern-day Japan. And then he met a girl named Eiko, who is an aspiring young singer, and he decided to be Eiko's tactician in order to plan and help Eiko uh, become a famous and successful singer and that's basically the plot so uh yeah so first of all uh the opening sequence is awesome uh it's really catchy it's also really silly and goofy we have the main characters dancing and we have all these crazy lights but i just i i like it though usually i cringe at things like this and sure to a degree it's a little bit cringy but just just how much the op commits to this it's just awesome and it's just really catchy bang bang i tiki tiki bang bang i tiki tiki bang bang it's just really really fun the ed is fine it's a little long in my opinion but it's fine so uh first of all i think this uh these 12 episodes for the most part is okay uh there isn't anything all that outlandish uh, unsafe crazy about these episodes there's nothing um, adventurous going on so in a way i'll say that this mo this anime is kind of safe a lot of characters a lot of the plot points is nothing that out of the ordinary um if there's one thing i really like is the uh, references to three kingdoms um uh, you can sort of tell that whoever wrote ya boy kong ming really enjoy three kingdoms because there are references left and right like uh, one of the rappers is uh, Kabe Taijin, and then um, the other rapper, uh, his nemesis is Sekitoba Kung Fu, and Sekitoba is one of the uh, is the name of one of the horses in uh, in Three King in the story of Three Kingdoms. And also, if you pair uh, the first word in Sekitoba Seki and Kabe Taijin, the Kabe and Kabe Taijin together, we have Red Cliffs, like. The Battle of the Red Cliffs. Haha, ha. get it? Um, but um, yeah, there are just a lot of references. Uh, there's a very good YouTube video uh, by Cool History Bros uh, that sort of analyzed that as well. But the character of Eiko, who is blonde and has a black hat, uh, she basically mirrors the wife of Kong Meng uh, in the Three Kingdoms. So that's also pretty interesting. But uh, another thing I like is uh, the, the rapping parts. Kabe Taijin, I think he is... Um, a lot of animes have characters like this. You know, characters who are... Oh, I used to be really great, but now I'm living alone and I'm a kind, of, kind of a loser and people laugh at me and I hate myself. But the length that the story goes to bring Kabe Taijin up back to fame, back to his, you know oh, I have faith in myself now. It's actually really awesome and kind of inspiring. I also really love the last two episodes. They're so much fun. It just, it's just a battle episode, like two battle episodes where Eiko and the rapper Kabe Taijin has a musical battle against this pop trio. And it's awesome because it reminds me of Jojo where it's just a battle of the most mundane everyday thing ever but it's just so dramatic and it's made such a huge deal and i just really love that it, it also reminds me of a uh, spy family where one of the episodes is basically 
you know, the family uh, tried to get Anya to get into this really elegant, prestigious academy. And it was also sort of like a, like a battle, uh, even though, you know, they're just applying for academies. You know, there, there's nothing crazy about this, but uh, it still panned out like a battle scene. And it's really, really fun. But overall, I think the, the anime is just really fun. And some scenes are legit really funny. I like that. Aside from episode one and maybe a little bit of episode two, Kong Ming pretty much completely immersed himself in the modern day. Like he doesn't feel like a fish out of water anymore. Um, this just goes to show that Kong Ming has 10,000 IQ and she he can just immediately accommodate himself to the modern world with the smartphones and with the music industry. And speaking of the music industry, this anime also has a lot of cool discussion on music industry and the latter uh, of fame as well um that being said though I'll, I'll say this this anime does put kong ming and eiko up against a lot of these musical acts a lot of these uh musical producers who are like scumbags uh who don't really care about the music but only the money and they cheat and scam but honestly conversely Kong Ming also cheats and scams and cuts corners. It's okay in Three Kingdoms because he's literally fighting a war. But now in the music industry, like in the story, he also does this. He also pulls tricks. And it's a little scummy. Um, it, and it's not the right way. So in a way, it's almost like this anime encourages young musical artists to also cut corners. Um, but... I think that's not really an issue here because at the end of the day, um, everyone's a cheater in the music industry. So I guess a little bit of cheating, as long as it's justified, is completely okay. But um, yeah, um, even though this anime is really fun, I'll say that given how absurd this um, the premise is, but also how small the actual story is, there's only so much this anime story could go. So uh, it's a little bit limited, but overall it's still a fun anime and I'm giving your boy Kung Ming or Paripi Kome a decent seven out of 10. So have you watched your boy Kung Ming from one to 10, how much you rated, like, like, and subscribe. One more and thanks for watching.